Khi bạn hiệu chỉnh một vấn đề thì bạn sẽ đồng thời hiệu chỉnh một giải pháp. Khi bạn hiệu chỉnh một câu hỏi thì bạn sẽ tự động hiệu chỉnh câu trả lời. Đó là những gì về sự tiến hóa của tất cả các loài. Khi một thứ gì đó làm ảnh hưởng đến bạn thì một thứ gì đó tốt hơn cũng sẽ được tạo ra và chúng luôn tương đương với nhau. Nói cách khác, sống luôn giống nhau ở hai đầu. Vì vậy, chúng tùy theo mức độ sẽ làm ảnh hưởng đến bạn. Bạn đã tạo ra một giải pháp lớn đến mức mà nó là lý do tại sao nó thật sự vô lý ở đây. Nó thật sự rất vô lý nhưng bạn thì vẫn cứ như vậy mà thôi. I mean, it is what it is, you know, um, it's COVID. This is the first time that the entire world has had the exact same problem. I mean, we've just have to deal with it, you know. It's not just happening for Americans. It's not just happening for the poor. Rich rich people catching it. You understand? It, this, this, this can attack anybody. So it's something we all got to pay attention to. A, a lot of people are looking at this the wrong way. When you have unconditional trust, you can't be defeated. You may have challenges that look bigger, stronger. In the natural, you don't have a chance. Don't be intimidated. The forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. The scripture says in Job, you will not be harvested before your time. There is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, There is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Always. It, it's not going to change for you. It's COVID for everybody. Say just you. Your world 42 ain't finna crumble because you got to change your career. You had to change your career. You just said it in the question. Maybe it was time for you to move on. Somebody sent me a plaque today that one day that said, uh, don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. And that's it. So when COVID happens, the people get, oh, this door closed. My business closed. My job closed. When, when a door gets shut, all you got to do is walk up the hall. It's more doors. You, this is God. God is, he's everything, man. He got everything. You ain't got to, you ain't got to worry about because your company closed. This ain't the only company. Could it be that he's setting you up for an upward move? But now if you're going to stay there and cry, see, here go the problem with you. Okay, they close your company. You stand at the door, open the door, open the door. The company's closed. You got to open back up, get some more investors, open your company. Could it be that all he wants you to do is go, wow, it's been great, been some years, walk up the hall. Could it be that there's a different door that he wants you to go through that was better than the door that got shut in your face? It's really... You have to live your life in expectation of wonderful things. God is a merciful God. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't set you up to fail. You're tripping. You're tripping, man. He only wants to progress his children. That's all he want to do. Even if you're wrong, he forgives us. Just keep moving, man. It ain't nothing. It, this thing right here, really, man, you, you got to look. So many good things have happened to me. Now look, I also had some painful moments in this like you. But hey, I look I look for the bright side, man. I expect something good to happen. I'm back at work. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but he made a move for me. Because I ask him to all the time. And then I just sit in expectation and wait and see what he got for me. Because he got something for me. People, somebody asked me a question the other day. If you could go back to any period in your life, what, what period would you go back to? I ain't ever had it this good. <laughs> This is the best of my life ever been. <laughs> you gotta be nuts. Man, you wouldn't want to be 25 again? Are you kidding me? The 25-year-old dude that was me? 
I'm so glad that idiot is gone. No. 63 years old, man. It's the best my life ever been. You know what I'm saying? But that's the scripture, though. If you honor me, your latter days will be greater. So all I do, I just honor him, and he gonna keep he gonna keep shining on me. I got it figured out. I ain't even worried. 2020 was a rough year. Some of another kid said, 2020, man, this has got to be the roughest year of our lives. I got news for you. This ain't even close. This ain't even close to the roughest year of my life, partner. <laughs> I got some years. He said, you've had a worse year than this? Then he started naming all the stuff. Kobe Bryant died. Oh, look, dog, my mama died. You was hurt when Kobe died. Dog, my mama left this earth. <laughs> I like Kobe. We was boys. It was huge. But that wasn't bigger than my mama died. Shit, let me tell you something, boy. <laughs> I, th I thought they was going to have to take me up out of here, boy, when that girl left. Because I was mad. The doctor said, I don't think your mother's going to make it. I said, well, cool. You ain't eat. <laughs> that was my first reaction. Your mama ain't going to make it. You ain't either. That's the dude I was. At 40. You ain't gonna, my mama ain't gonna make it. I tell you what. Why are you in here talking to me? You better get in there and get to doing something. Because if she don't make it, you ain't either. And me and my brothers was dead serious. They was dead serious. We gonna kill him. That stupid ass one, yeah. <laughs> my oldest brother said, we gonna kill him. Me and my brother said, yeah. My father came in there and said, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this. That's my wife. I ain't gonna kill him what you gonna kill him for. That's a crazy conversation, ain't it? Well, God changed people, so. So glad he changed me. Whew. All right, come on.